What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today is a pretty big day for the world of Blackout because we now have the ability to earn camos for each weapon and the camos are on screen. They're Grassland, Desert Fox, Coral Panther, Radar, Roll, Urban, Platoon, Frost, Blue Tiger, Fast Times, Red Oyster, Stealth Hex, Yacht Club, Infiltrator, and then of course Gold, Diamond, and then Dark Matter. Now guys, the way you unlock these camos are by collecting these paint cans and they're gonna be on screen for you guys right here. And these can be found all over the Blackout map. Most of them can be found though on the streets, which is what I'm doing right here in the gameplay. And within this one game, I was able to find a total of 11 cans. Again, just by driving all around the roads. I'm pretty sure Treyarch did not intend for this to happen. I'm pretty sure they did not mean to have all of these paint cans spawn on the roads here. So I think that's gonna probably get nerfed a little bit in the next update here. And yeah, you can only use these paint cans to unlock camos for only one specific weapon. For example, say I may want to unlock the grassland camo for the GKS. Well, that's gonna take a total of five cans. These camos do not transfer over onto any other weapon in the game. Again, each camo has to be unlocked individually. Now, I'm gonna go over how many paint cans it takes to unlock each of the camos. So for grassland and desert fox, it takes a total of five. For Coral, Panther, Radar, and Roll, it takes 10. For Urban, Platoon, those two take 15 cans. And then finally for Frost and Blue Tiger, both of those take 25 cans. And then after you have unlocked all of those, you move on to the technical camos and all of these require 30 cans. And then after that, you move on to the mastery camos, which are the gold and diamond and dark matter. Right now in Blackout, a lot of players are just simply focusing on collecting pink cans and getting those camos. And if I'm, if I'm gonna be honest, I think that is how I'm gonna play as well because right now I really don't have any incentives to play other than just, you know, going for wins. Like, I'm maxed out in levels, I already have all the characters unlocked for the game. Like, the only thing I need to do right now is just get the camo. So, for those of you guys who, you know, may be just casual players who don't really care um, about this all too much or are just looking to have some fun, this could be an issue to some of you guys. Um, but please tell me down below in the comments your thoughts about this new system. I personally don't have an issue with it. I just think it could be done better. Like maybe if you kill someone, you could possibly collect their cans. Or for every kill, maybe you get a total of like three or five cans. Something like that would be um, pretty awesome besides just like scavenging them around the map. Because they're, they can be pretty much anywhere on the map. But again, like I said, the best way to find the cans is by traveling around the streets. And that's what a lot of players are doing. They're just getting in vehicles and just dr driving all around the, the streets here. So that could be annoying to some of you guys, like I said. Um, ambush is definitely the game mode you want to play because you respawn, obviously. You can have more time to collect paint cans. And yeah, that's my thoughts, guys. I don't have an issue with it. I just think it could be done better by maybe... Uh, getting more cans for kills that kind of stuff. Um, please tell me your thoughts down below in the comments Also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thanks for watching till next time. I'll see you guys later